left hand you hold the fork and with your right hand you you cut the meat or whatever you're eating and then so often <laughs> so what did they do they just use the fork in the right hand and just go <laughs> is that how americans eat scoop it up i thought i was just in the cartoons <laughs> what's up guys it's Dwayne. Back again for another video, back in for the reaction of today's a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day because it's a Norway day. 17 craziest, craziest things you only see in Norway. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. If you're a Norwegian and you don't at least know how to ski, you're a black sheep. Being on those skis in the snow is something that every Norwegian has ingrained in their blood, it seems like. They don't know. First of all, he sounds American, weirdly enough. And is that true? If you're a Norwegian, you don't know how to swim. Swim? <laughs> ski! I was listening. If you don't know how to ski, is it true you're a black sheep and you're not really a Norwegian? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't necessarily go out of their way to have something big. Instead of, you know, going bigger, they just go nice. Have nice things instead of, you know, like America, they always make fun of us for having everything that's super sized. I've never been in a modern city in Norway that's dirty. Norwegians respect their cities and they always go out of their way to pick up trash that they see on the ground. Okay. And so you'd be walking around and it's amazing to think how many people are in the city at one time and it's practically spotless. They have a dish. A tr well, do you know what? If you have nice things, you want to treat those nice things better, no? So this is how I see it, like certain cities, probably in America, certain cities in England that I know of, not cities or maybe towns or areas, get treated badly because the government doesn't actually implement anything to make the area look nice. They don't do the streets, even though we pay taxes. They don't um, maintain the roads, maintain the, you know, the look of the place. When people are giving something nice, clean and precious, they want to keep it nice, clean and precious. But um, a lot of the times, they're not given that. So then if your area looks terrible, you're more likely to treat your area area terribly if that makes sense that's my that's my ethos and i know your government looks after you quite well so you would like to keep your areas nice which makes complete sense the traditional christmas dish called the uh, lutefisk and it's like yes. a fish that's cooked in like you let it sit and ferment for a while and it gets like jello-y and then you put it in the oven and so like when you like touch it it like jiggles back and forth like jello and it it's i thought it was disgusting i couldn't eat a whole <laughs> lot of it but they put like bacon on it and it makes it a little better but it's super salty and just not a texture that i like reindeer so is it like fish fatty fish is it like what's the jello stuff on it then and he said he puts the put you you put it in the oven you take it out and it's still like jello so what is it because if it's fat then it'll melt right in the oven that doesn't sound appealing, but if you guys think it's delicious, let me know in the comment section and let me know if you think I should try it when I do eventually come to Norway. It was really good. The whale was a little weird. And one of the coolest things right. about Norway is in the summer, when you go to bed at night, it still looks like it's about five o'clock in the evening. And when you wake up in the morning, it looks like it's noon because the sun just kind of goes all the way around you because it's so far north. But the bad part is in the winter, winter, it's the exact opposite where sometimes you only get three, four hours of sunlight. There's Do you know what? I've said this before. Um, that sounds crazy. Probably crazier to an American than it does to a Brit. Um, yes, we get a lot more. Probably double that. Maybe six hours during the winter. Um, but especially if you work in a... Say if you work in a hospital like I used to do... <laughs> I used to go to work, it was dark. I used to leave work and it was dark. There was a lot of times I didn't see the sun at all. So I think it's not crazy for me to, even though it will be crazy because I no longer work in a hospital, so it'll be just like dark all the time even when I have free time. But I think when I go to Norway, I'll, I'll, I'll adjust. I think I'll be okay. Um, summers though, I'll be looking forward to the summers because they sound like some long, long days. I love long days. I love long sunny days. I really do. 
there's wild berries that grow just everywhere that are good to eat and the water is all super clean that you can drink anywhere so you don't have to worry about that. Strawberries, um, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, they're just everywhere. I've heard of the snow being so high, like higher than the cars on the side of the roads up further north. I never got to actually see that. In the north, the northern lights, you get to see like every night and just moving across the sky. I cannot wait to see the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, you can see the Northern Lights in England, by the way. I think it's England, north of England and Scotland, you can see the Northern Lights. I've never seen them, personally, and I'm from the north of England. Um, I cannot wait to go to Norway um, and go to the northernmost part of Norway and see the Northern Lights. That is one thing that is on my list and I would love to see that. And you're just like walking around in it and it's amazing. Norway is a very rich country. There's virtually zero poverty there. It's You'll so hardly good. ever see homeless people. If the people don't have a home, basically the government will get them in a home and help them out until they can get a job and working. They get paid a lot more in Norway. <laughs> so it went from there's no one in poverty, they get paid a lot more. Um, yeah, you guys do get paid a lot more. But you know what it is? This is because your government, again, um, was a lot smarter with its money, with their, with their money, with your money, um, and reinvested it. And that's what you guys live off, apparently. And um, our government also, with the oil that we both shared, actually, we share some of that oil. Um, we had a lot of oil as well. Do you know what we did with our oil? We sold it and we paid off our debt. <laughs> from the war <laughs> uh, we paid off the debts and yeah um yeah did nothing else with it basically we just spent it so oh yeah so we sold some as well we sold them actually we sold most our oil to oil companies right um and we didn't keep any of the the, the oil for ourselves um so yeah we didn't benefit like you guys benefit so yeah i'm not salty i'm not Annoyed. I'm just jealous. In Norway too for doing manual labor and for doing everything else. One of my friends from my last areas is coming over, you know, to spend a, about a month vacation in the US and he's working as a grocery store clerk and he's making a ton of money doing that. <laughs> and, you know, he can afford to come to the United States for a month just off of his grocery store clerk salary. Uh, my favorite way to travel yeah. in Oslo was with the bicycler, which are the city bikes and we could get anywhere the most quickly with those city bikes where they have a certain station that you would use a card and unlock the bike bike to wherever you needed and there'd be another station waiting there and you just lock your bike there and it would register that you had taken your bike and then delivered it somewhere else so you weren't stealing it and a lot of people use that system and it worked very very well for us what i love any city, country, any area where there's a biking, a bicycle system, because I love riding a bike and it's such an easy way to get around. Also, it's fitness as well. You get to move your legs, move your body, and like it's a cold, your country is not a hot country, so it'd be perfect for biking as well. I wish more countries were like that. I do. I really like that. It's really good. When it comes to crime and safety in Norway, it is one of the safest countries so out there. Norwegians themselves believe very strongly against violence in general. And so um, you can be very severely or prosecuted for performing any kind of violent act at all. They take it very, very seriously there. I recall... That's good. That's very good. That's very, very good. So you're very calm people, peaceful people don't like violence, don't like confrontation. Just sounds like a very um, chilled and nice place to be. Can't wait to visit. Call, you know, just like a little girl just walking past, just playing in the snow by herself in the middle of the night. That would never happen in Southern California, <laughs> where I'm from. And so it was a very big surprise to me how, just how safe it was. They take advantage of their vacations quite a bit, which is great. And I would be so surprised that they could still live their lifestyle and be gone for three to six weeks. But they'd go with their families and just have the have the best time of their lives wherever they were. They typically celebrate Easter for... I think the Americans, the, the, the concept of having time off for them is like, what? You have time? You have vacation? 
<laughs> you have time off? What? Wait, you don't work 24-7? Wait, you, you, you celebrate your holidays? Wait, you... <laughs> Americans are funny. Americans are funny because, like, uh, they have a very, like, work is, is, is everything. It's the core of everything. Capitalism, work, um, money, don't be lazy, just move, 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 move. It doesn't matter if you've got bad mental health and you want to jump off a frigging bridge, just keep working. I do feel sorry for Americans because um, they get work to the bone over there and, and, and well-being of their staff that there isn't such thing as well-being. There just isn't. It's just you work and you earn money and you try to get as high as possible in your career. Um, otherwise, there's nothing for you because there's no, like, real support in terms of, like, their welfare system's terrible, you know? There's no free healthcare. There's no free education. It's just terrible. So I get it. For, for, for some from America, that must be like, what? What? get paid what but i mean no way your pay is way better than england as well like it's just better so yeah do you guys um vacate so you do go on vacation a lot do where do you go where's a hot spot no pun intended um where no, nowhere goes do you guys go to like hot countries where do you go on holiday where, what's your beach holiday of choice where can i find the most norwegians let me know in the comment section below for a whole entire week. They have a week off of school and work to go to their hitta, um, which is their their cabin up in the mountains where they would go as a family and go skiing and hiking and enjoy the, the sun that had just come up after the I long, dark he, winter. They would I think he maybe have, he, well, that's one of the places you go on holiday, right? Um, but do you go to hot countries as well? You normally have these um, candy bars during that time called Kvik Lunch. Uh, the closest thing I can compare it to is an American Kit Kat bar. And whenever wow. you open them on the inside of the, the wrapper, they have hikes. And so you could explore the different hikes that they were telling you about in Norway. They use their utensils differently. Um, I think what? in America, we just kind of scoop everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is an American phenomenon. The way they use their knife and fork, it's very weird. In Europe, we, I think we tend to eat the same in terms of cutlery in Europe. Like, we, we don't just scoop everything like a spade. We stab. I don't know what you guys do. We use the knife in the right... I do. Knife in my right hand, fork in the left hand, stab the food, sometimes skip, scrape some food on top of the archy bit, and then eat that way. I sometimes turn my fork and like get some of the like at the end, but for the most part, I'm stabbing and I'm scooping on top. What do you guys do? Let me know. <laughs> and just shovel it in our mouths, but they're very precise and they hold the fork with the left hand. This might be just yeah. kind of the older Same. generation, but I learned to do it because it's really respectful. With your left hand, you hold the fork and with your right hand, you, you cut the meat or whatever you're eating. And then so often, <laughs> So what did they do? They just use the fork in the right hand and just go. <laughs> Is that how Americans eat? Scoop it up. I thought I was just in the cartoons. <laughs> I'm sorry, Americans are funny, man. There's some some things they do is just really really funny to me. I don't know about you guys. I'm not taking the I'm not taking the Mikama of Americans because I love Americans. Um, they give us so much entertainment. <laughs> in general i mean like comedy and like tv shows but <laughs> but like come on guys they do they really just scoop all the food on the fork <laughs> so how do they cut the food i think i saw a video once of like americans showing how they they cut their food and i think what they did was they take the knife and fork right before they start eating <laughs> take the knife and fork they start chopping up everything on the plate <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. But it's like chopping up things. You know, like how you do with a little baby, <laughs> like like a two-year-old. When you've got a kid, right, you chop up their food really small so that they can scoop it up and eat it. But that's how Americans eat. Just <laughs> in general. I'm sorry. If there's any Americans watching, I am so sorry. But that's what they do. They do. 
that's <laughs> how they eat. Um, yeah, I don't know why Americans eat like that, but that's how they eat. Um, yeah, very different from uh, in Europe because we actually use our knife and fork in, throughout the entire meal and we cut as and when. But they chop up everything on the plate and then they eat it with the fork. It, yeah, it's very weird. Often they keep the fork um, like upside down and they would pile, like if you have like a sauce or sometimes they'll serve like these like smashed peas <laughs> they'll scoop it on top of the meat or whatever you've cut so it's like all in a pile then you have to carefully <laughs> put it in your mouth carefully, oop, carefully put it in your mouth no that's just how you're supposed to eat carefully why care what is it what's wrong with americans i'm sorry when it comes to eating food they eat like they're two years old like they chop up everything i don't know guys <laughs> Oh, that gave me a nice tickle. That was quite funny. I enjoyed that. Interesting. 17 craziest things you only see in Norway. They weren't exactly crazy. They're just kind of things that Americans, they don't, they're just, they're just confused by European standards and the way things are done more efficiently. Basically. The only thing that's like, whoa, for me, not whoa, but because I already knew, is that you guys get paid a, a lot more um a lot more and your government treats you a lot better than they do in england but uh the standard european stuff like cutting up your food with your knife and fork and having the knife in your right hand and the fork in the left hand that's kind of basic stuff but um i'm not american so i'm with you on that one guys thank you very much for watching until the next one i will see you very soon